5,580 pounds as you see it here today. The new J Flight 237 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an awesome couples camping floor plan. Not necessarily a new floor plan in the marketplace, just a very popular one. And it's cool to see J Flight bring it here. And what's kind of neat also, we carry this floor plan for multiple brands, whether it's Wildwood, J Flight, or a whole slew of laminated brands. We have this floor plan in all kinds of different ways to help you zero in on the one with laser focus that best fits your wants, needs, preferences, etc. So they all bring different things to the table, and that's what we're gonna focus on here, is not where they're the same, but I wanna specifically point out areas where the J Flight version is different. And I don't think any aspect of that is greater uh, in terms of variance than their warranty. Nobody is matching their two plus three year best in class warranty. First with the slide closed, whether or not this one is really travel accessible, um, kinda depends on if you're shaped like a toothpick, or a tree trunk. <laughs> and uh, what I mean by that is uh, you see if you come up here toward the front area, you can get to the kitchen, you can get to the fridge, but it gets awful tight right here. Now I'm a little thicker in the midsection than I should be. And if I really suck in the gut on my dad bod, I can just squeeze through there. It ain't comfortable, but I can do it. From the other direction, it's a lot easier. Um, you don't have to be shaped like a toothpick. You can be a little bit of a decent sized tree and you can get yourself through here before you leave for your destination. <laughs> see what I did there? But uh, if I slide around the entertainment center, you see that there's plenty of room to walk around the door and get into the bathroom here. And for some reason, normally when I record this floor plan, I always come from the perspective of the door first. I'm going to do it backwards here. I want to focus on the living area first on this one because I think it's one of the things that they did very well here. Actually, I, I think they pretty much nailed every room on this considering this is uh, in a J Flight SLX, which I call a smarter class camper, not a starter class camper because this is a really smartly equipped camper. I think they nailed this. I think they nailed this very well. So up top, first of all, you can see that there's a ton of lights here. And what's nice is this is a six foot nine interior height. It gives you that extra, you know, headroom, bigger cabinets, more room in the shower, which is something I appreciate. That uh, entertainment center right there, it's what I call boardwalk and park place directly across from the seating. And how about the fact that this has the exact same heat massaging theater seat as something like a White Hawk or an Eagle? I mean, it's absolutely awesome. And if we're paying attention here, they really did this slide well because you can see you got that big cross breeze window right there to bleed some air through the uh, screen door or the um, you know kitchen window power outlet just up into the right of the shoulder of the person in the left hand seat. Um, you know what I really should have done? I really should have popped this open so that you could see that. Give me just a second here so I can do this properly. But first, the hideaway Dinofa table, which I'm going to call John Cena because you never saw it coming. And what's cool is that little free floating table, it can store under the bed. You could actually just lay it down in the shower floor in transit if you wanted to. It's not going to hurt anything in there. So it's free floating. It's indoor, it's outdoor. It gives you a spot to eat when you're ready. And it gives you, uh, you know, nothing but a, a comfy wall hugging theater recliner when you need to just kick your feet up and relax after a long day of doing nothing at your campsite, which you've earned. Gosh darn it. <laughs> So I've got one in uh, recliner mode on the right, and then one in liveback mode on the left. And they are comfy, I tell you. Uh, it was one of those things, had it not been so cold in this trailer, I might have uh, milked that pig a little bit longer. Makes sense if you don't think about it. Now, even up here, we're going to talk more about the cabinetry when we get to the kitchen, but um, even these overhead cabinet doors, come on, camera, you're not liking that light, are you? There you go. Um, those cabinet doors will flip open to give you uh, easy access there. Now, the entertainment in this, we've left it basic because uh, we know that this is more of a, a, a simple series, smarter class camper than a fancy pants, loaded up, jazzy pants RV, but it's very expandable. So, you know, if you choose to throw a TV in here, you're directly across from the theater seating. Uh, we've got Bluetooth and DVD still here, but still HDMI expandable on that entertainment center with those handy little plugs there. But what's nice, you see that one wire hanging out. Jayco actually runs the HDMI wiring for you. It's just those little things that they do that I really appreciate out of them. Um, 
the uh, bathroom here. We already saw how it's easily travel accessible. It looks kind of funny, but they put the toilet paper roll on the door, which, when the door closes, makes a lot of sense. And also, take note of the fact that that door actually locks. Now, <laughs> this bathroom here, this shower is massive. I mean, that's massive. If you need to put, like, a, a set down a, a, a chair for bathing comfort to, ha to shave your legs or whatever, you can. Extra tall. Uh, if your grandkid gets into the muck and mire of the, the local lake, you could get in here and hose them down manually if you had to. Also, as we uh, turn around the other direction, you can see this has a 6 foot 9 floor to ceiling huge cabinet right there. And it's full of shelves, ideal for all of your, you know, whether it's beach towels, general linens, it could be overflow pantry space. Although, as we're about to see, the one thing you don't need from that is pantry storage. Because when that collective call for storage, well, came a calling, J Flight, they accepted the charges. They accepted the charges, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wonder how many people even remember collect calls. It's just, it's just not a common thing anymore, is it? But look at this. Built directly into the slide is just this mega pantry. A little bonus uh, kind of slot even below the fridge, which I think would be perfect for like little cookie sheets, little baking sheets or something like that. You know what else? Oh, you know what would go really good down there? Like um, a little uh, slide open set of pet dishes or something like that. Just be a nice place to keep those out of the way. Now, as we flip around the other direction, uh, one of the reasons this has that nice two plus three warranty is superior materials like plywood drawers down to the floor. And in this class of camper, you usually will get one or two drawers. They ran them all the way to the floor uh, down there below that sealed edge countertop, giving you plenty of prep space and some easy reach outlets. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. The same, well, at, frankly, it's the exact same type of cabinet construction that goes into a North Point fifth wheel, which has a full-time RV warranty uh, associated with it. Now, behind this entertainment center, there is this huge walk-in closet pantry combination right here um you can see those uh coat hooks there also but again you can what i like though is they didn't make these shelves too deep so that you had to like reach in armpit deep to get to them the the shelves are plenty deep for big stuff like you could have multiple boxes of cereal or whatever on there but if you want to be able to hang up some brooms some coats anything like that they gave you an awesome place to do those things but uh, I do also want to give you a look at the kitchen all closed up so you can see what it looks like and just kind of streamline daytime mode. I also want to make sure you had a good look at that huge section wide open under the sink, just begging you for either big pots and pans, uh, you know, large waste baskets, anything like that. And again, when these doors are closed up, they get out of the way so that you're not, uh, you know, walking and doing that weird sideways travel trailer walk to get to the bedroom. Although with that huge sliding wide open door right there it makes the whole living room look and feel larger now quick note as we walk in your tv hookups are up here on the left but that bracket can be removed it can go outside frankly if you wanted to you could get a uh, matching mount and put it in the living room and have one tv that could flow into multiple areas now you've got a hanging closet on the left but if we take a look to the right here you see what looks like another hanging closet that actually has shelves in it so that's kind of your dresser space smaller camper kind of designed with you know weekend camping mind something i haven't talked about previously look at that window you see those uh like blackout pleated shades you'll find those through the entire rv with the exception of the kitchen window for fire code reasons and notice how they're all fully framed out it's just a nice j flight doing j flight things here they are uh using a serta mattress don't get me wrong this is not like the Serta that you're probably going to put in your house. You might put something like this in your guest room, but frankly, it is one of the best mattresses that I've seen in this class of camper. And another thing here, bedspreads. They're optional. It would look prettier, but most people don't use them. And it's shocking to learn that a bedspread in an RV is like a $100 object. It just seems crazy. So instead of spending $100 on a bedspread, you're probably going to throw away. I've kind of taken the liberty of building this RV with some other features that cost about the same that I think you're going to appreciate a little bit more. Also, you can see how that bed has gas struts for easy lifting to get to this huge storage space below. And that's uh, one of the cool things they do. Again, every brand has their differences. J Flight gives you full access to that underbed storage, whether you're inside or outside, with a pair of extra large baggage doors right there. Uh, so uh, whether you're on the driver's side 
or the passenger side. You get that big, easy access. They're very nice if you're using something other than just uh, generic bag chairs. Or if you like to store that floating table under the bed in transit, or maybe use it as a picnic table, kind of an inside-outside thing. Um, you can see how we've upgraded this to feature the uh, stable steps in the back there. That's an optional piece of equipment, but it takes a ton of that herky-jerkiness uh, you know, out of the way. And also take note of it's the little things like you can see a side mount solar prep plug up here on the tongue but what's easy to overlook is that kind of landing foot pad that they have included on the the tongue jack here it's just one more thing that they've done to make your camping experience easier because trucks keep getting taller the ball height of a truck keeps getting taller so that foot pad is going to save you a ton of uh cranking not to mention the fact that it'll uh give you a wider landing point so that the tongue of the uh, trailer isn't as likely to kind of sink a little bit when you uh, get to your destination if it's not on like concrete pad or hard ground or something like that. The whole platinum skin generation here that we're looking at, personally I think looks fantastic. It's the first time J-Flight's migrated away from white, which has always been their thing, but it looks good and it's a very light kind of platinum silver, so it's not going to be super uh, hot when it's uh, sunny outside. Um, speaking of hot when it's sunny, the tinted windows are going to help you tremendously in that regard. Uh, and additionally, one of the other things that you can do on these that we like to apply here at Halet RV is you can build them with the uh, optional enclosed underbelly so that you can add a little bit more protection from flying debris, but also just uh, improve the efficiency of your heating and cooling. So uh, during that first little segment outside here, something happened to me that's never happened to me while I was recording a video before my 11 year career. Somehow a hair got in my mouth and it was tickling the back of my throat, and I managed to stay in the pocket long enough to record that, which I think is a pretty cool accomplishment. Not that you probably care. Uh, so the ladder on the back, that's an optional piece of equipment. And what's funny is, like, I know that it didn't look pretty not having a bedspread in the front, but the fact is, most people don't use those bedspreads anyway. But I think most people are going to use an enclosed belly, and most people are going to use a rear ladder. And you want to know what's really wacky? That enclosed belly or that ladder, individually, each are like the same cost as a bedspread. So which would you rather have? Personally, I think we would, I'd rather equip this with stuff that you're going to use 10 years from now, rather than worry about a bedspread you're probably just going to throw away. Or, uh, you know, the other thing those bedspreads are good for is, um, you know, if you have a body that needs to be disposed, you can wrap them up in that bedspread and just dump it into the creek or whatever, you know. Full outside utility shower, segueing masterfully away from the previous topic, as you can see with hot and cold outside uh, shower, that is a boring feature. That's a thing that a lot of trailers have, but not at this class, not at this price point, which is why I like to call an SLX J Flight the smarter class of camper. We have uh, backup lighting here, all LED tail and marker lights. And let's talk about that roof. It's a little icy, so I don't wanna walk on the roof like I normally do. Not that you can see much of anything anyway. But this is one of the areas where you'll find the reason, like it's a good indicator as to why this has the best warranty available out there in its class of any RV like this. That two plus three year warranty that nobody else is doing here. Um, this has, a lot of campers now have plywood floor decking. Not all, but a lot of them. And every conventionally constructed travel trailer that we carry in an eight foot wide uh, class like this at Halet RV always has a plywood floor. A lot of them have 12 inch on center floor studs, 16 inch on center roof and wall studs. But J-Flights are the only ones that also have plywood roof decking and their Magnum Trust roof system to give it the heaviest weight rating of any camper like this in its class. Little things like that add up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, power awning on here and in this class the people when i say people i mean manufacturers they will often skimp on things and go to like okay we're gonna get you a smaller power awning that's why i call this smarter class because the stuff you're going to use see feel touch experience every day that's where the money's spent here not on glitz and glitter on function over fashion like a maximum length power awning with lighting and speakers in the awning arms. You know, there's a lot of things here that make sense. Um, like best in class Goodyear endurance radials rated for up to 87 miles per hour. Please don't drive 87 miles per hour when you're towing your travel trailer. But if you choose to do that, you won't 
worry about tire blowouts just because you're driving too fast. Outside TV hookups and bracket, the same bracket we saw inside can float outside for easy moving a TV around. And this water heater, another thing that looks and sounds boring to talk about. Normally, in this class of camper, you'll get a six gallon water heater with uh, uh, propane power and auto ignition. And it's capable of generating just about 11 gallons of hot water per hour. But all J flights now have a gas and electric water heater. It is still six gallons, but you can run the gas and electric simultaneously to give you just shy of 18 gallons of hot water per hour. And it's those little things, those under the skin things, they give you that longer warranty, more peace of mind, greater enjoyment over a longer term. Not everybody wants a Jayco, Pinnacle, North Point, Montana, et cetera, for retiring. There's a lot of people like, look, I just want a small, simple camper I can take out a few times a year and not have to worry about plaguing me in the part shop. And that's exactly what we're looking at here with just a dynamite floor plan packed with all kinds of storage. This thing's a stone cold stunner right here. This is a winner and it is certainly a nerd preferred camper right here today. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone. And remember that although we don't do hidden fees, we only do everything else.